that our theories and accounts of the world are tools to help us intervene, I don't think they're a description of some ultimate reality. And so, in an overall way, yes, I think we should be building metaphysical stories about our overall uh, situation. In fact, I don't think we can avoid doing that, but I think we have to give up the idea that any one of them might, in fact, uncover the ultimate truth of how things are. Thank you. Patricia, do you have a definition of metaphysics you are working with? No, I don't. I mean, I'm very old fashioned. Philosophers, especially in what we may call the TikTok era of metaphysics, have become really enamored of giving a very deep meaning to metaphysics. And quite honestly, I find it sort of a waste of time. There are the neuroscientists who are discovering things about consciousness, and there's Hillary said, yeah, you're never really going to know what the nature of our purpose is. And they said, yeah, yeah, but I know these people are in pain and we're trying to help them. And so I'm fine with people who want to do these great grand things that Aristotle would not have called metaphysics, but they do. Uh, go ahead, be my guest. Um, but I'm really interested in making actual progress. Hillary, you seem to want to say something. <laughs> well, f funny about that. Uh, yeah. I think uh, Patricia also has a grand story. It's the modernist story that science is understanding what's really going on, that we only have to apply observation and reason, and that we will gradually uncover the truth about the universe. And I am uh, alongside her. Look, it's very difficult to make predictions in science. I have no idea whether science will ultimately uncover the ultimate reality. What we do try to do is to make progress in very specific ways, in very specific, with very specific questions, always recognizing that there may be aspects of the story that are completely wrong. We're now beginning to understand what precisely changes in the brain when we take ketamine and how it produces those effects and we can produce them electrically and then uh, get rid of them electrically. And it helps us, I think, understand something that is deeply problematic for many psychiatric patients who have really quite debilitating dissociative feelings. So might we be able to harness this in order to make a difference to people's lives? I think so. Does that mean we're getting to the ultimate nature of reality? Quite honestly, that never bothers me when I'm trying to go to sleep. I don't worry about that. I'm worrying about the data and how the data fit together and how we can test it even better. I'm not an idealist. I don't think it's just stuff going on in our heads and there's no stuff out there. In so instead, I think, we operate with what I call closures, but you could think of them as models, uh, and we use those models to intervene in the world. And I don't think there are true ones. So I'm, uh, I think uh, I understand what Patricia is trying, I think, to say, but I wouldn't choose quite that vocabulary. I wouldn't say we are working out how consciousness works, we're getting to the bottom of it. I wouldn't choose that vocabulary. I would say our model of how we interpret the world, our understanding of brain processes is improving. It's enabling us to intervene better. But just in the same way as, uh, you know, this pen could be made better, perhaps it could flow better, or it could make it, make it, it could appear uh, more attractive. We wouldn't ever say, oh, we've got a true pen. We might say we've got a better pen or a worse pen, that it's more useful at doing this or use, but it's not a true pen. And I think the same is true of our accounts of consciousness or of reality or whatever, that they are ways that enable us to do things and we can make them better and better, but that doesn't mean to say they get any closer. They are just tools to make things happen. To continue watching this video, click the link in the top left or in the description below. Or visit iai.tv for more debates and talks from the world's leading thinkers on today's biggest ideas.